Today, I am going to be talking about the number one thing that prosecutors say that should make us all angry. My name is Veronica. I am a criminal defense attorney here in Los Angeles, and I help people who have been arrested put their criminal cases behind them so that they can enjoy their lives and their freedom. Okay, so this video is about the number one thing that I hear prosecutors say that oh, makes me so angry and should make all of us angry too. And that is a trial is about finding the truth. Now, when they say that, they say it as though it's this grand statement that sort of pumps them up and shows that they are the most fair. <laughs> it may seem innocuous to you. It may even seem fair. Trials about finding the truth. Can you convince the 12 jurors or not? Here's why it freaking sucks and why I think it's absolutely ridiculous. The last time I heard a prosecutor say that, my client who was accused of murder had been in jail on a million dollar bail for over a year. And before you think I suck, no, I took that case over. He'd already been in jail for over a year and I had to prepare for trial very quickly. Now, if a trial is about finding the truth, you don't know the truth, you don't know if he's guilty or not, yet you have locked him up on a million dollar bail and said, you know what, you are going to live in absolute misery. You are going to lose your job. You are going to not be able to talk to your wife unless you pay exorbitant rates to call her on the phone, barely ever going to be able to visit her because of how the jails handle that. You are going to get beat up by your roommates, you're going to have the absolute worst in healthcare. You're going to be treated like garbage, like a criminal. You are going to be the most stressed, depressed, anxious that you have ever been for all that time. And then we're gonna, we're gonna try to find the truth. No, an investigation should be about finding the truth. Why do we have detectives? Why are we paying all of the police officers? Why, if that should be the part where we are trying to find the truth, they should make a good faith effort to find the truth then. And if they think that they have found the truth, okay, then charge someone. I'm not saying put them in jail at that point. I have a big problem with the bail system as well. But we should not be using trials. And I forgot something else. You've also used your life savings on attorneys at this point second lawyer in that case, murder case, you've used your life savings and you're lucky, you know, if you had the means to even do that. It should not be about finding the truth. Do a better job with your investigation in the first place. If you need to find experts to analyze DNA, to analyze the murder weapon, you should be doing that as part of the investigation phase. You should be doing that at the beginning before you make the arrest. But that is how things work, at least here in Los Angeles. If you're not in Los Angeles, I, or Southern California, maybe things are better where you're from, but you know, I practiced in Illinois too under someone else's license as a law student. And I think it was about the same there too. Um, this is a real problem. And you know, even as jurors, like what you're sitting there to, it's your job to find the truth because nobody else tried to find it before. <sighs> anyway. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. I know it was a bit of a rant and not as educational as some other videos that I have, but hopefully it's helpful in seeing how things work and how the prosecution works. Um, if you do have a case in Southern California, feel free to give me a call. You can find my number down below or book a consultation with me below.